Hello, welcome to Carlin's Creations. I hope you're doing well out there today. Thank you for stopping by and spending this time with me here on YouTube. I so enjoy visiting with you. And today I have a um, work in progress with junk mail envelopes. Just thought I'd share the various stages of working with the junk mail envelopes. This is what it looks like when you start. It's just these envelopes from various pieces of um, mail that would normally wind up in the garbage can. And I have glued them together at the flaps So that's, that's the beginning, how it begins. And then you, you just glue it down how you want to. There's really not a set way to um, do this. And you can leave the flaps open like this. And that way, when you're finished, you can use them as pockets. Sometimes I glue things down solid like that is glued solid. So you just... You just experiment and do it how it works for you. That's open. This one is um, closed down. And th that sort of happens too, just in how you have to have to glue it for it to, to work. So I, I hope that makes sense of what I'm trying to say there. There's no rules of how to, how to do that. This one is in the stage of completion of just mostly putting on scrapbook paper and this magazine image here. And then the inside is still pretty much a blank canvas. This is just something that came in the mail thought that was super cute and it goes really well color wise here so I stuck it in and and so you can make them fold out in different ways and just get creative with that true junk true junk journal junk mail so that's that's another here's one in the beginning phases also it has washi tape on the edges here and a little saying and this is some more scrapbook paper on the cover and the inside is a little bit embellished. I've started putting some washi tape inside and this is covered with scrapbook paper, uh, but still very much in the beginning phases here on this one. And then we have this one. This was, I can't remember what this came off of. It was I got something delivered and they had had it wrapped in this cute little elastic band with this little tassel. So it, it just became a closure here, covered in scrapbook paper. It has book corners. This is a sticker of, I have a bunch of these with different sayings. So put that there. Covered the back in scrapbook paper covered the edges in washi tape all the way around and um, have begun sort of embellishing this one. I will cover most of the envelopes with scrapbook paper and a lot of times I, I use washi tape inside like that. So this is a, just get creative and, and do whatever 
sort of comes to you. Just, just have fun with it. And I like to think, you know, I'm, I'm recycling instead of adding to the waste. Um, so, so that's something I like to think I'm contributing in a positive way to the environment. And probably if you're watching this video, you share that sentiment and want to do your part as well. This one is more complete. It has the book corners. It has this image here that I've sewn on. It says our travels. It's a travel journal or legacy book that's made from a trip my husband and I took out west and this is more of that ribbon I was mentioning came from those uh, fluffy coat hangers. I have so much of that ribbon that I've used it a lot. I like it. I think it's pretty shiny and um so the inside of this one is decorated with stickers I either bought or found and scrapbook paper and um, things like this, which came off the cups in our hotel room. It just reminds me of uh, where we, places we stayed on the drive out, places we ate. And this is a map that I saved of the area we visited. And this is clothing tag. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I love to um, decorate clothing tags. I got a little pretty rock at this place. And, and that, isn't that a pretty bag? It's got roses on it. And just so pretty. And then... This was a sunset that we saw on a hike out there, and the cows just roam free in, in the area where we were hiking. It was the coolest thing. I wasn't used to that because where I grew up, cows were always in fences, and so we were walking and just looked up, and there was this cow, and more sunsets. I like to take pictures of the sky. They have such neat images. And this was a restaurant where we ate. And then on the backs of those, I, I glue the family photos. So, you know, a picture of us when we ate there. This is a little belly band here. And just oh, put that right there. It's been fun because good luck would have it, I guess. The places we visited when we've been walking, we found rocks. We hide rocks where we live. And then I guess lots of cities do this in the United States. And so these were a couple of rocks we found. This was a little winery that we visited. We found these three rocks and re-hit them. Here's another one of those pennies where I always get a penny smashed if I see one of those machines. So here's the coffee sleeve. I love to use these. This was a store that we visited and a sticker that we got in the bag when we checked out. A picture of a butterfly that was in a store. It was very beautiful. Um, tag from something we bought and this was a card from a store where we bought some things this is the ticket to get in the space history museum and 
And then I like to save these too. These make such neat keepsakes. They would just throw them out at the restaurants and they always set your glasses on them. And they're just so pretty to me. And they record the time spent with with family and friends at the restaurants. This is some wrapping paper from a gift that my daughter-in-law gave to me. And I just decorated the back of one of our family photos with that. And just scrapbook paper and magazine images here. This was a wall mural that was on a wall down an alley in Hot Springs, Arkansas. It was at night and I didn't even see it. My husband saw it and when he took the picture, I guess the flash made it light up like this, but it was it was pitch black in that alley. I thought that was so pretty. And this is, it's actually a jewelry store. And then this is just a bag from one of the shops we visited. This was an image that came through. We couldn't see it with our naked eye, but when we got the picture developed, it looked like an angel standing there at the top of that mountain, casting down this pink and turquoise shadow, like a big flower. This was a wall mural. welcoming us to New Mexico. And then we usually take pictures of sunsets. So I just thought I would share this little travel journal with you and love to know how you record your travels. And I hope this was inspirational in some way. I hope you have a really good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.